In this video, we're going to be checking out how different types of clipping diodes can have an effect on the overall sound of a distortion pedal. So we're going to start off by talking a little bit of the theory of how they work and how clipping diodes have an effect on the sound. Then we're going to actually look visually at the different types of waveforms that we can see using an oscilloscope. And then to wrap it up, we're going to do a sound demo so that we can actually hear the differences that we talked about and looked at on the oscilloscope. So if that sounds interesting to you, be sure you stick around and watch this video. I'm Jason from Fuzzlord Effects, and I really appreciate you taking the time to watch the Fuzzlord Effects YouTube channel. Every week we do gear demos, tech talks, and other music related videos. So if this is your kind of thing, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the weekly videos that we put out. You can also keep up with Fuzzlord on the daily on the Instagram page at Fuzzlord Effects. Check out FuzzlordEffects.com to see what kind of stuff we have in stock right now. Or you can check out the Fuzz Life podcast. It's a weekly podcast episode where I interview different people in the music industry. Before we get started, we're going to do a quick shout out and a thank you to all of our supporters on our Patreon page that we're leaving a link to in the bio. So we really appreciate each and every one of you uh, supporting this channel. Let's get started on this week's video. So we're going to check out how different types of clipping diodes have an effect on the overall sound of distortion pedals. But before we do that, I wanted to briefly talk about how distortion pedals work in general. So in general, we're going to run a signal into a pedal. Let's imagine a clean sine wave, kind of like what we can see on my screen here. Let's imagine we're taking a 400 millivolt peak to peak signal, 0.4 volts. And what we're gonna do is we're going to run it through a gain stage, which gain stages amplify our signals. So imagine we took a 400 millivolt signal, imagine a sine wave in there. We're gonna take that and increase it to like one volt peak to peak. So that's what a gain stage does. So at the heart of a distortion pedal, we take the input signal, we amplify it cleanly, and then what we're going to do is we're gonna run them through some sort of clipping diode, like silicon diodes we've heard of, or possibly germanium diodes or red LED diodes. What diodes do is they're kind of a one-way gate and different types of diodes turn on at different voltages. So basically a diode's a one-way gate where when the threshold voltage of one side gets greater than the other, it'll turn on and start conducting signal. Silicon diodes turn on at about 0.7 volts. Red LEDs are about 1.2 volts. And germaniums, which we're not covering in this video because the pedal that we're using to demo doesn't have germanium diodes, turn on about 0.3 volts. So what we're doing is we take our input signal, amplify it, and then we're gonna feed it through a pair of diodes that's usually configured with one pointing one way and one the other way. What that does is we're going to run a clean signal into something that we're amplifying. Imagine it's like this big that we're amplifying it. And then we're gonna run it through diodes that essentially make a hard limiter. So the silicon diodes are going to take a signal and then chop off anything greater than 0.7 volts positive and negative. They're flipped different ways so that one diode turns on for the positive half of the signal, the other one turns on for the negative half of the signal. Kind of like here, we can see we got a positive half of the signal above zero and a negative half of the signal below zero volts. So the tonal differences and the sound differences we're gonna hear in this video are the differences between silicon diodes, red LED clipping diodes, and not using diodes whatsoever. Let's get started and show everyone what we're talking about. Let me just tell you a little bit about my setup right here. I'm using my laptop as a signal generator. I logged onto a website where you can generate a tone and I'm running out of my headphone jack and into the input of this distortion pedal. The oscilloscope is a tool that we can use to electronically monitor signals and give ourselves a visual representation. So the yellow channel is the clean input signal that I have set up to be about 400 millivolts peak to peak. 
I'm mimicking what a Les Paul puts out, basically, or humbucker pickups. So we're monitoring the input on channel one, which is the clean input signal, or test signal. It's 1K hertz, 400 millivolts peak to peak. And then we're also monitoring the output signal. If we turn the pedal off, I can turn on this blue second channel. So pedal's off, input's the same as the output. So what I wanna demonstrate is I'm going to, we have a toggle switch on this pedal that can choose between no diodes, red LEDs, or silicon clipping diodes. So to demonstrate what we talked about, like the basic theory of a distortion pedal, I have the clipping diodes disengaged. I have the gain set really low so that it shouldn't distort. And I just want to show everyone that like step number one of a distortion pedal is to take the clean signal in and amplify it. That way we can feed it to some clipping diodes and really make it distort. So if we turn this pedal on, you can see that that signal just got gigantic. So what I'm gonna do is turn the scale down of the blue channel so that we can actually see it on the screen. Imagine we basically have two like XY coordinate system graphs where like the yellow one goes one, two, three, four, five, and then the blue one's going two, four, six, eight, ten. It's a bigger scale we're representing on the same screen. So what I wanna show you is that when no diodes engage and when the gain set low, this pedal is taking the clean signal on the input, amplifying it a whole bunch with an op amp, and then we're just feeding it to the output, basically doing nothing but a clean boost right now. So now what we wanna do, I wanna show to everyone, is we're gonna turn up the gain on the pedal, and then we're gonna cycle through silicon diode clipping, red LED clipping, and then no diode clipping so that we can see the actual differences we talked about. Remember, silicon diodes are gonna be about a 0.7 volt from the center, hard limiting clipping threshold. Red LEDs are gonna be about 1.2, and then no diode clipping just lets us go wild basically and hit against the power rails. So we'll be able to see the differences and what we should be looking for is that silicon diodes are gonna be the quietest and most dirty and square waved and most compressed. Red LEDs are gonna be quite a bit louder, less compressed. No clipping diodes is gonna make it easier to use it as a clean boost and it's gonna be incredibly loud. When we actually turn up the gain loud enough to get uh, no clipping diodes to start clipping, we're actually clipping with the op amp amplifying the signal so big that we're hitting the power rails, zero and nine volts, and clipping that way. So let's check out what those look like. The yellow signal right here is our clean signal from the laptop. Again, 400 millivolts peak to peak, 1000 hertz, so this is a standard test signal. I went ahead and the pedal is on, I don't have the output turned on yet, and we're in silicon clipping mode, we're using silicon diodes, we have the gain set to half, and we're just gonna leave it there for the comparison of these different waveforms. So we're gonna turn it on, and I want everyone to check out. Uh, again, the blue channel is scaled down lower, so this signal, if we put it on the same scale as the yellow one, it's actually quite a bit louder. But we're gonna get louder from here, so we're scaling it back for demonstration purposes. I hope that makes sense. So again, clean signal going in, and what happened was, is like we were just talking about earlier, we're gonna amplify that input signal a whole bunch, and then push it through, feed it through those clipping diodes. The two diodes turn different ways, and these are the silicon clipping diodes. So this is about 0 0.7 volts um, is where they clip, and we're going to compare red LEDs and then no clipping diodes. So that is our baseline signal. And I guess what I want everyone to see is that just imagine that we have a clean signal that we're amplifying and then we're gonna like, see those little crosshairs right there. We're basically gonna hard limit and anything that goes beyond that threshold will get chopped off and square waved. Basically they're getting shorted to ground and then chopping off the tops of the waveforms. And that is actually what our ears hear as distortion. So let's contrast that, leaving all the settings the same and turn to red LED clipping. Again, red LED clipping, our clipping threshold window is gonna be about 1.2 volts. So what we can expect is that this signal is gonna get bigger, louder, and then 
if we analyzed it just the right way with the perfect gain, we would see that like the hard limiting clipping threshold isn't as small, so it shouldn't be quite as compressed and quite as square wave, but these pedals have so much gain in them, it's almost hard to tell. So that is the red LED clipping diodes. As we can see, the signal is significantly louder. And if we dialed our gains back just a little bit, we would kind of see that like, let's put it right there just for a second. The silicon diodes are gonna be a bit more square wave than the red LEDs, just because again, it's that hard limiting clipping window that we're creating. That's how I like to think of this. So I'm gonna set the gain back to 50% so we have a good even test. So again, silicon diodes clip at about 0 0.7 volts. So we're gonna have a more compressed and a more square wave sound and less output. Red LEDs are gonna be about 1.2 volts where they start conducting. So those can be quite a bit louder and a little less compressed. Now let's compare that to using no clipping diodes whatsoever. Look how incredibly loud that is compared to the other ones. The deal is, is we're actually hard clipping against the power rails of the circuit. So we're not using diodes anymore to limit the clipping threshold. We're actually just trying to amplify a signal so much in a window that only has zero to nine volts to work from. And we're amplifying it and then hitting the power rails and clipping that way. So again, let's check out the three. Silicon diodes, about 0 0.7 volts clipping threshold. Red LEDs, about 1.2. And then no diodes, it's just incredibly loud. I know a lot of you are thinking about where did germanium diodes fall into this equation? Well, germanium diodes clip at about 0 0.3 volts. If you think about the germanium diodes conducting electricity at about 0 0.3 volts, I think you can imagine what that would look like. Drop a comment below and let us all know uh, what effect you think germanium diodes would have on the sound and how those would differ from these other ones. So let's do a sound clip now and without adjusting any volumes, let's just hear the volume difference between the silicon diodes, the red LEDs, and no clipping diodes whatsoever. We're going to leave the volume consistent and the tone stack. We're gonna leave the gain on about 50%. We're gonna do it this way to start with so that we can hear the volume differences between these different styles of clipping. And then why don't we do one other clip where we normalize the volume so we can just analyze the tonal differences, again, between silicon clipping red LED clipping, and no clipping diodes whatsoever. So we're gonna switch over and check out how these things sound now that we've talked about how they work, we've looked at the visual differences. But before we do, every week we always ask a fun question for all the viewers and then people comment and then I get to talk back and forth with everyone. It's one of my favorite things about this channel. So as always, I wanna know where you're watching from in the world. I want to know what your favorite kind of diode clipping is before we hear it. Maybe it'll change afterwards. And to answer your question that I think a lot of people are having right now about where I got my cool soft tech shirt, my buddy Marco makes a bunch of fun shirts. He's in the band Mother Iron Horse. You should check him out. Um, so if you want one, you've got to call that dude.
Again, I'm Jason from Fuzzler Effects, and I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Again, if you're liking these videos, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave me a comment below. I'm always curious to know where you're watching from, every video, and this week I want to know which of the three different styles of clipping did you like the most? Was it the silicon diodes, the red LED diodes, or possibly the no diode clipping option whatsoever? Uh, we were checking out the Fuzzlord FX Drone Master pedal. If you want to hear more about it, you can check out our website, fuzzlordfx.com. And again, big thank you to each and every one of our Patreon supporters that we're running their names right now. I really appreciate everyone's help and support running this channel. Again, you can keep up with me on a daily at the Instagram page at Fuzzlord Effects. You can check out fuzzlordeffects.com to see what kind of t-shirts and pedals we have in stock right now. Or you can check out the Fuzz Life podcast on iTunes and Spotify every day of the week. And you can check us out while you're at work or working out or driving around, whatever you're doing. Again, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I look forward to talking to all of you in the comments and hearing about what your favorite types of diodes were, etc. And let us know what kind of tech talk videos you're hoping to see in the future. Until next week, I really look forward to talking to you again and hope you have a good week.